if you bring people from all kinds of different backgrounds into a space and then they don't feel like they're welcome, they're just gonna leave. So you really need to have that inclusion, make sure that you're giving people the resources, the opportunities that they need uniquely to succeed. And then that's where you can really start to see the benefits of diversity. Hi, I'm Sonia Kang. I am the new director of GATE. I am a professor of organizational behavior and human resources management, and also hold the Canada Research Chair in Identity, Diversity, and Inclusion. So I've always been really interested in identity. I'm actually a psychologist by training, and I became really interested in management specifically because it's a great place to apply everything that we know about identity and helping people work with others from different identity groups in a place where it's gonna have effects in the real world. And so I came into the research that I'm doing now specifically in order to inform kind of policy level and system level changes that organizations can make in order to really support diverse um, employee groups. I really focus on those inclusion level interventions. So how can they actually change their policies, their procedures, their systems, the way that they're, let's say, promoting people or hiring people um, in order to make sure that they're making the most of the great diversity that we have. My research focuses on identity, which is basically how we understand who we are based on all of the social groups that we're a part of. So that could be based on gender, it could be our racial group memberships, culture, it could be our relationships with other people. It's really how we understand ourselves and convey that to other people. And then I also study diversity, which is making sure that we have good representation of people from all kinds of different identity groups working together in the same space. And then inclusion, which is making sure that all of those people with all those different identities actually feel like they belong. Right? So do we ask them for their opinion? Do we take what they're saying seriously? Do they feel like they can make a change in the organization, that they can be themselves? And you really need that inclusion piece in order to make that diversity sustainable. I'm actually the original faculty research fellow in GATE, the first one. I became involved when our founding director, Dr. Sarah Kaplan, invited me to learn more about GATE. I was really excited by her vision to really change the conversation on gender equity move it away from those individual level solutions. You know, how can we sort of fix women and force them into workspaces that weren't really created with them in mind, really move that conversation more to system level change and what we can do at higher levels in order to make sure that we're setting up our organization so that everyone can succeed. I also really love the mission of GATE to translate research um, into forms that are easily understandable, accessible, and can be used um, very quickly applied by practitioners who are interested in making changes in their organizations. My favorite thing about GATE is definitely the community. So it's a huge community. We have so many different people working on all kinds of different questions that are related to gender or related to identity in some way. It's a really great group. We learn a lot from each other. We like to hang out. So definitely the community piece is my favorite. definitely stay engaged. So you can subscribe to our newsletter, you can follow us on socials, you can listen to our podcast, and definitely we wanna hear from you about what you find most useful about the work that we're doing, what you'd like to see us doing more of, and that way we can create this GATE community together. I really hope to see you at GATE events in the future and stay connected.